There are a very few things or people that can actually read your mind. It may be your parents, it can be your friends, it can be your siblings. But one thing that gets it spot on all the time is Spotify. Yep, the music streaming apps host more than 60 million tracks and yet it knows what exactly you want to listen to. If you have ever been curious about how this works, you have come to the right place because we are going to explain all of that in typical Elemental fashion. But before we get started, let me quickly remind you that new Elemental videos come out every Sunday at 1pm. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you're always notified of our latest videos. Now Spotify needs no introduction really. I mean, it's a straightforward app. You basically have three screens. You have library, you have search, and you have home where all the magic happens. At home page, you can see a lot of things like different playlist recommendations or song recommendations, but that's not the clever thing. The clever thing is when Spotify actually recommends you a new song or an artist that is actually a little different from what you have been listening to all this while, but you may actually end up liking it. So that's where the algorithm of Spotify comes into play, which in turn runs on data. Spotify's algorithm not only monitors a user's music history, but also analyzes the reason behind a user's listening experience to a particular song or preferring a particular genre over the other. And this algorithm is what sets it apart from other streaming services. The algorithm is called Bandits for Recommendations as Treatments or simply BART. And it is responsible for doing two things in the background, exploit and explore. Imagine you are a really smart octopus with multiple hands at a casino, trying out slot machines. Different slot machines have different games, but all of them basically take in your money and have different probabilities of giving you back some money. You may actually know some slot machines very well since you might have played them before, but the rest of them may require you to try them out before you understand the patterns behind them. Since you are an octopus, you can try out multiple machines at the same time. You can exploit the ones that you already know about and the others you can explore. In a nutshell, that's exactly what BART does. In this analogy, the slot machines are basically users. Some users have used Spotify before, so BART can exploit them or make use of their listening histories, songs, skip, playlists that they have created, social media activity on platforms, and even one's location to recommend music. For new users, BART explores. It studies the data that it has from the rest of the world. It starts searching for playlists and artists similar to their listening taste and also looking at the popularity of artists in that area whom they haven't heard before or any of their related tracks either. It then presents a user with playlists and by taking the data set of different music genres they have listened to over a period of time becomes the best of X for you playlist. In my case, Spotify knows that I love John Muir, so it's always right there looking at my face. Now while exploring, Bart needs to know whether a user actually liked a song. It does this by waiting for 30 seconds or so. If a user listens to a track for more than 30 seconds, Bart registers that and shows related songs. The longer one spends on a song or a playlist, the better their suggestions will get. And on a flip side, if you accidentally stumble upon a song that you don't like, it's wiser to just skip it before the 30 second mark so that you don't get any more such recommendations that you may not like. Now, another interesting thing to notice over here is that BART changes the minimum duration it takes to observe a user depending on the kind of playlist or song. For example, if you're listening to a, a sleep playlist or a jazz playlist, you're going to spend more time on it compared to other playlists. And this is something that BART uses and hence it increases the duration during such scenarios. Now, what if there's a new kid on the block? right? A new artist who has dropped a brand new sick album, which Spotify doesn't know much about. It doesn't have a lot of details about it. It doesn't know what kind of artists that artist is related to, so on and so forth. 
That's where Spotify's audio analysis algorithm comes into play. Yep, Spotify actually listens and analyzes the track to recognize different desirable characters to music. Spotify's research on millions of other tracks helps it identify various aspects of songs like distorted guitars or keyboards, while others recognize more abstract ideas like genres. Now, another thing that Spotify takes into consideration is age, gender, and even location while recommending you new music. And it also uses all of this data to understand the behavioral patterns of its users. Yep, that's true because think about it. Through the passage of time, your taste for music changes. For example, when I was, let's say, in first year of college, like five years ago, six years ago? Yeah, six years ago. Six years ago, I was listening to a lot of EDM music. But then three years later, when I actually started working, I started listening to more of blues music. And I cannot live without that anymore. Now, the second thing that also really influences the way you listen to music is your location. If you change your location, very often you'd have a much wider taste of music and because you're basically being exposed to a lot of music around you. Now to conclude, Spotify's home screen is the perfect example of less is more. But then again, in the background, it's running so many things that are just invisible to the naked eye. And that's what makes it really interesting to understand. Now, another thing is, and over here, I'm not gonna express my own opinions, but Spotify is actually taking in your data, right? And different people have different opinions of that. But the interesting thing over here is that it's actually giving back you whatever data it has collected in the form of recommendations. And that's been it for this video of Elemental. If you like Elemental, do not forget to just subscribe to our channel. And remember that new Elemental videos come out every Sunday at 1 p.m. If you found something interesting or if I have answered some of your questions in this video, then do not forget to like this video. And for all things tech, log on to Gadget360.com.